just tried out this new shade of ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, and this shit is neon. This is one of their new shades. This is the shade Naked, Naked Ladies. <laughs> so this morning I filmed my everyday foundation routine, which is this look. So I'll link that video down below if you missed that, but this is just what it looks like at the end of the night. It's just going to be a casual Target haul. I went to Target, did some damage. Actually, I met a Bayrito there, so that was exciting. So I got some clothes and dollar spot stuff and spring stuff and then just some random household stuff, which I'll probably show you guys too. I'm always like really interested in what people buy for their house. So the first thing I got was a total like impulse buy, but this is a makeup bag, clearly. And this is a travel bag. It has so much freaking room. This is the Sony Kashuk brand. By the way, Sonia Kashuk always comes out with really pretty makeup bags, like every season there's a different one, and I was just so drawn to this for some reason. I have a ton of trips coming up, literally, I think every month. I'm going to Iceland in May uh, for two weeks, so that's coming up. I don't think I've ever told you guys that. I'm going to Iceland next month. And then I also just have a bunch of random like smaller trips, so I figured I should probably get a huge ass bag. This can store all of my toiletries and makeup, so it has this really nice flap in the middle where you can actually put stuff in and I think oh, this is upside down so you could put like makeup brushes and stuff right here and then it has this little flap that goes over it then it comes with two plastic baggy things right here and then there's a huge storage compartment right there but I love this size for traveling because it's flat and I feel like it just packs easiest and I think this was $24.99 and it has a really nice waterproofy cleanable material I got two cards from the dollar spot. Whenever I see cute, affordable cards, whether it's like birthday cards or whatever, I always pick them up because you never know when you're going to need a cute card. I got these two. This is obviously a birthday one. These were both a dollar, which I feel like is really good for how cute these are. I don't think this says anything on the inside. It's just like a sparkly flower. I also got two bags for gifts because I always just keep these so I don't have to last minute get them. This one I thought was really cute. Happy birthday bag. And then I just was like so drawn to this because it's ombre. These were both a dollar too from the dollar spot. Do you remember when Target dollar spot used to actually be a dollar? Like now all the shit is like three and five dollars. Speaking of three dollar items, we have this journal, which I totally did not need. Another impulse buy. Thank you, Target. It says dream big on the front, which I actually just noticed. And then it just has some lined paper in the middle, like journals usually do. It has gold ends on the paper. I just thought this would be good for sticking in your purse if you gotta write something down, even though I usually just put it in my phone, but we'll see. So I picked up a couple of shirts. I always have a really hard time with spring and summer fashion because I just don't like showing a lot. I don't mind wearing like shorts and stuff, but I just hate wearing tank tops. I can never find summer shirts that I'm like really comfortable in. I liked these because these are super lightweight. They are long sleeve, but you can, it has the like scrunchy sleeve, so this could be quarter sleeve. This is a really pretty material. I can wear this to work. This one just fit really cute. It has this like scrunchy thing on the top, and I feel like with a necklace and just jeans and flats, this will look really cute. Pretty sure this was, oh, here's the tag. This was $22.99. I got the size small. I like the yellow. I like the colors. Feeling it. This is another shirt I got. This actually fits really cute. If you saw my Snapchat, I tried on the orange version of this. And I was snapping this whole day, by the way. So if you're not following me on Snapchat, it's the tail of snaps. I basically like vlogged this entire day. Also, side note, super drunk dude in the Target fitting room. Shout out to you, sir. You made my trying on experience very memorable. So it has this like crocheted neckline and then it's also crocheted on the sleeves, which is really cute. And I feel like with a gold necklace, this will look really pretty. It's flowy, it's comfortable. They have it in a few different colors and this was $19.99. I picked up some of my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I love these. I've been trying to hold off buying these because I have so many makeup removing oils and like balms that I've been trying to go through before I repurchase these. But sometimes you just need a wipe. Like there are those days when I can't be bothered to put oil all over my face. These are just quick and easy and they do the job. So I got this e.l.f. palette which I'm really curious about. This is the bronzer palette in Bronze Beauty and I love their illuminating palette. I'm wearing it today and I really like it. I really like more red toned bronzers, less orangey and more red if that makes sense. So I'm hoping Ooh, that one looks like it could be a winner. So it looks like it has two shimmery shades and then a couple matte ones. And they had a contour palette too, but the contour palette looked a little bit more orangey. 
excited to try this. I picked up another one of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers. This is in the shade 110. It is too dark, but I have this white powder that I've been setting my under eyes with, and I feel like it might be light enough with that. I love the consistency of this. Maybelline, if you came out with a concealer like two shades lighter, you'd be a lifesaver. I do really like this concealer. If you don't have pale skin, try it out. Okay, I have a few home stuff, and then the rest of the stuff I got was food, so I've already put that away. Whoa. These smell really intense. Is there a hole in the bag? These are dishwasher pods, really exciting. This is the Up and Up brand. They were just the cheapest. It says it compares to Cascade Complete dish packs. I don't know, we just need more dishwasher things. Haven't used these before. Okay, really excited about this. So this is the uh, Cafe Bustello. These are espresso pods for your Keurig. I'm pretty sure this is the coffee that Kathleen Lights used in her uh, Cuban coffee video. I'm in this weird, like really, really, really strong coffee thing right now. I went on a 2 a.m. shopping spree on Amazon and ordered all this like Turkish coffee shit, which you saw on Twitter. If you follow me there, it got a little intense. Apparently it's really dark and it's really good. I was super excited to try this. You know you're adulting when you're excited about cleaning products. But I found the Peony scent of the Myers cleaning supplies, which this is limited edition, and I didn't actually find it when it first came out, and I think it came out like last spring, so I don't know if they re-brought it back for this spring or what, but super excited about this. It smells so good, and it's just really pretty. This is the dish soap. Mm, it smells so good. And this is the multi-surface cleanser. I think that's everything I got. If you guys like this video and you want more hauls, give it a thumbs up so I know. I think I'm going to be having a spring clothing fashion haul coming soon because I have a pile of stuff that I've recently bought sitting in the corner of my room. So let me know down below if you guys would want to see a spring clothing haul. Again, I'll link my everyday foundation routine that I'm wearing right now down in the description box below if you want to check it out. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.